where to find EWS URL in Outlook. If you're trying to figure out where to find the Exchange Web Services EWS URL in Outlook, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to understand that the EWS URL is essential for configuring certain email clients and services that interact with your Exchange server. Here are a few methods to find this URL using Outlook. Using the Test Email Auto Configuration Tool. One of the easiest ways is to use the Test Email Auto Configuration Tool in Outlook. Here's how you do it. Hold the Control key and right-click on the Outlook icon in the system tray. Select Test Email Auto Configuration from the menu. Enter an email address that is located on the desired Exchange server and click Test. The tool will perform the auto configuration and display the EWS URL under the Availability Service URL section. Using PowerShell on the Exchange server. If you have access to the Exchange server, you can use PowerShell to find the EWS URL. Here's what you need to do. Open the Exchange Management shell on the Exchange server. Type the command Get Web Services Virtual Directory. Select Name URL file and press Enter. The URL will be displayed in the output. Checking Outlook settings. In some cases, you can find the EWS URL directly from an already configured Outlook account. Here's how. Open Outlook and go to the account settings. If the account is set up using EWS, the server text box will contain the EWS URL. Using the Exchange Admin Center. If you have access to the Exchange Admin Center, you can find the EWS URL there as well. Go to the Exchange Admin Center and click on Servers. Navigate to Virtual Directories and double-click on EWS. In the general settings, you will find the EWS URL listed. Additional tips. The default EWS URL format is usually HTTPS slash mail.domain.com slash EWS exchange.asmx, but this may not always work. If you're using a self-signed certificate, the URL might be different from what is displayed by these methods. Always ensure that your DNS settings and firewall configurations are correct to avoid any connection issues. By following these steps, you should be able to find the EWS URL for your Exchange server using Outlook or other related tools. This will help you configure your email clients and services smoothly.